Oh, guys, it's official. The Sounds are causing some serious damage. Let me get down here, see if I can see this with the camera. You'll see there. Hey, my seat bracket has broken. You also see there where it had broken before and it was welded back. But, um, yeah, so, uh, someone just caused some damage. Uh, this is for people who say they can't do anything. No, I lied to text, so probably just because I'm fat. But, uh, you know, you might remember from earlier videos, maybe back over the summer, that, you know, it was flopping around then and it is once again. But, anyways, have another update. Yeah. That was not there before. Got that nice pretty dent right there. Got some nice pretty scratches down here too, but you can't really see those, so we'll not worry about them. But yeah, that happened Friday. That and the seat both happened on the same day. This happened and I backed up into something, obviously. And that happened. And then shortly after that, I chilled out from that, you know, stopped at Sonic, got me something to drink, got my mom something to drink, took it by where she works, was leaving there, and this happened. It's also for people that say Jeeps have no torque and no power, because that happened when I was taking off. So, you know, I'm sure it had already worn down some, though, but I'm going to fix that later. Going to weld it back up again. And, you know, it's all nice and popped out there, but just got back from getting a quote for it, actually. It's going to cost me $375 to get that fixed. Because of that one dent, they have to repaint this entire quarter panel, have to replace this emblem right here, and have to blend in the tailgate so that you can't see a color difference between the two. They might have to do some blending on this door, too, but, you know... It's actually sort of a good thing because, you know, it gets rid of that chip right there. And this one up above the door here. You know, a couple of other little nicks down there that just sort of happened over the years we've had it. But, you know, probably going to get that fixed in the next couple of days sometime. I guess that those scratches probably happened then too because they weren't there. Yeah, this is sad. I just washed it a few days ago and look at this. Look. That's just gross. But anyway, this is a apparently three minute update. Hadn't been doing much working, going to school, whatever, you know, until this happened. So, probably edit this, upload it, you know, yeah. It's not too pretty. You know, just a comparison, that's after. This is, you know, before, but reversed on the other side, you know, yeah. So, it hit it pretty hard. But, and before anybody says, you know, oh, you're a teenager, don't know what you're doing, didn't, weren't paying attention, I saw it. I knew it was there. I backed into a big, like, dumpster thing. I knew it was there. I saw it, I knew it was there, was paying attention, thought I had cleared it. What had happened was, I had actually stopped, and when I stopped, it was probably actually about this far away from it. And then, you know, you go to shift in the drive, and most vehicles, if you're still in reverse and you shift in the drive, they'll still roll back a little bit more. And I'm guessing that when it rolled back a little more, this happened. So, you know. And I felt it crunch. I didn't keep trying to back up or anything. I just pulled forward and checked it out. But, you know, stuff happens. We'll get it fixed. $375 later, we'll get it done. I'm going to edit this. Upload it. Talk to you guys later.